I just want to say first, this kit is awesome for a 2004 kit and the price point, I highly recommend you pick it up. The Gelguk Jaeger is definitely a kit I recommend to anyone wishing to try a high grade Universal Century model kit that's sturdy for under $17. I got this guy for around 15 bucks at USA Gundam and I can happily say I would pay even more for this model kit. That is how amazing it truly is as a kit. For anyone who has never seen the series, this model kit is from War in the Pocket. And that series is just a masterpiece, focusing on the trauma of war on a civilian population with amazing mecha design in that late 80s Universal Century style. The high grade is a perfect representation of this era, starting with the nub marks though. They definitely need work and you can tell this is a 2004 model kit. I've not sanded this model kit yet because I wanted to give you an absolute raw detail at how this would look just with no modifications. And you can still see these from a distance. I hate to say it, but I would have to say that you need to sand this model kit. You can usually find files around at hobby stores and craft stores for around three or four bucks or even cheaper sometimes, so I highly recommend you pick that up if you are going to pick up this kit, just to give it that extra bit of polish. The overall kit is highly solid, with great color separation and actual mobile suit looks, it looks highly accurate. The weapon is another story though. It requires paint application to the scope, which I highly recommend trying to fix with a pink Gundam marker or hot pink model paint. Personally, I was going to use a pink Gundam marker. I did minimal panel lining for this kit just to show you how great it would look on its own. The only part I panel lined was the head, because there are slight little details that just pop out a little more, so I highly recommend you do panel line this area, if you do panel line this kit at all. The posability is highly impressive. For a 2004 kit, that is. It's a fun kit to put on an action base and get in those war in the pocket flying poses as you can see in the show. Flying around, busting GM space command types. Now, I know a lot of you guys are wondering, does this mean there will be Gelgook lore, a lore video based on the Gelgook? Yes. In a few hours after this review is posted, if you want to learn more about this awesome mobile suit, I recommend sticking around because I will be posting that review and making sure that this is out first then I'm going to focus on doing that sort of lore video for you all because a lot of people have been asking me since I'm mainly a Transformers channel but a lot of people have been asking hey are you ever going to cover more Gundam content and I honestly think now is a good time. Overall my final thoughts about this kit is it's amazing for the price point and the time period. You can get this guy for around $15 usually even less and I highly recommend it. It is a highly sturdy model kit. It just needs a little bit of love afterwards just to make sure it looks perfect and that's honestly it and if you want to hear more about just sort of model kits and that cheap price point i plan to do a little video on uh, top 10 gunpla under i'm gonna probably say 15 dollars because i was gonna recommend the union flag that's gonna be a review coming out soon so i highly recommend sticking around thank you so much for watching and i hope you check out some more videos peace